welcome or welcome back. Today I want to present to you five books that I think might be five stars for me. So before I get into any of these books, I guess I should kind of define what makes a five star read for me. And I've been thinking this quite a lot, also looking back at books that I gave five stars to. If I really like a book, I would give it four stars without hesitating, but I think there's something a bit more complicated and more emotional about giving a book five star. So these kind of books definitely are not flawless books. What makes a book five star for me is a book that explores themes that are very close to my heart or that resonates with me on an emotional level. I guess it has to especially speak to me and also leave a significant impact on me. It's also very likely that I want to reread this book at some later time and that I would like to have a copy for myself in my own collection. So with this very unclear definition of what is a five star read for me, make of it what you will, I will show you now five books that I think might be five star reads for me when I read them. The first one I want to mention is one that I will probably get to very 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 soon that I already presented in my last book haul and it's Ghost Wall by Sarah Moss. I read The Tidal Zone by Sarah Moss previously and adored it. It was a five star read for me and that means I already know her writing style well and I know that I will like it. All I know about this one is that it explores the um, life of a family who goes to the north of England to reenact life in the Iron Age. So it's a family with an abusive father, a very submissive mother and their daughter Sylvie, who is a teenager. And I have heard amazing things about this. It's touching upon xenophobia, misogyny and also the lessons that we think we learn from history or how people use history to justify horrible things that they do. So this sounds like really intense and something that I would definitely be interested in. The second book that I want to talk about is actually a short story collection and it's The Thing Around Your Neck by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. I already read nonfiction from this author and really enjoyed it and it's the first time that I would read any of her fiction works and I'm quite excited to see where she goes because I have heard that she is really really good at storytelling. This collection basically explores the life of Nigerian women but not only in Nigeria so also immigrants who are in America so it's a lot about culture clash and the place of women within these different countries it's about identity and loneliness and homesickness and yeah, you can guess this is all themes that I think are extremely interesting. So I'm really, really looking forward to see where she goes with her fiction using these themes. The next book I'm going to mention is quite a chunker and it's Alias Grace by Margaret Atwood. I pretty much loved everything else I've read by Margaret Atwood so far and this book sounds like something that would really really be my kind of jam. It is based on a real-life murder that happened in uh, 1843 in Ontario, Canada. It follows um, a young maid called Grace Marks who at the time was accused of the murder of her employers and Atwood is using this story to comment on the place women had in the 19th century, on how mental illness was seen in the 19th century also, and in general about this thin line that lies between truth and lies. In this book we follow young Grace as she is in prison and she is visited by a psychiatrist who is trying to find out if she did indeed um, commit these murders because she claims that she cannot remember doing any of it. This sounds really fascinating 
and just talking about it reminds me why I bought this in the first place and I w why I want to get to it. So I really hope that I can overcome my fear of big books to finally get to this. Next up is a speculative fiction slash mystery novel and it's Never Let Me Go by Kazuo Ishiguro. This follows a young schoolgirl called Kathy who is entering this boarding school and it happens in the near future but it's not really clear when and she is admitted into this very mysterious English boarding school where basically students get really really good education but are essentially cut off from the outside world and this follows her as she starts discovering that something's not quite right at that school. The only other book that I read by this author is The Remains of the Day and I really really liked it. So I'm really interested to see what he does with kind of dystopian speculative fiction because this is a genre I really really love and I'm really hoping to love that one as much as I predict. And the last book on my list is The Tenant of Wildfell Hall by Anne Bronte. This is an epistolary novel that follows Helen Graham, who is fleeing her past life with her young son. She is trying to flee her abusive and alcoholic husband and making a life for herself, selling pictures that she's drawing. This has been described as the first feminist novel and I think it will have a lot of interesting things to say about the place of women in 19th century England and I think it's gonna be really really fascinating to see how this woman violates all the social conventions of her time to try and survive. I have already read Anne Bronte's first novel Agnes Grey last year and I quite enjoyed it but it sounds like I will like that one way more. On an emotional level definitely I think Anne Bronte is the Bronte sister with which I think I can more relate to and I'm more on the same wavelength so I'm really interested to read her second and last novel. So that was it guys. These are the five books that I'm predicting will be five star reads for me. I really want to get to these soon, best within the year of 2019 and this video is also kind of reminding myself that I have these really good books on my shelves and that I should get to them. But now is your turn, guys. I want to know everything. Have you read any of these? Please tell me if you like them. If you absolutely hate them, maybe don't tell me. But I would love to know what your thoughts on these are. Maybe you can help me also prioritize to which one to get first. And I think eventually, once I've gone through this list of five books, I would probably do a check-in video and tell you guys what I thought of them and if they were indeed a five-star read for me. Okay, thanks so much for taking the time to watching this video, guys. I love to talk to you in the comments, so come and say hi. And until next time, bye.